Hey there guys, welcome back to Let's Play Artanilla with Amelia Belamia. In this episode, we'll be diving into Misha's level E Cosmosphere. So, this is going to be our last episode. Yippee! Alright, whatever. Let's do it. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Alright, and we are here at level 9. We need to go to Stonehenge to exit the level E. But first, let us do this. And then... Stonehenge, good. I always try to check all the areas in case there's some sort of missable event. Kind of a bad habit of mine. Oh, what is it, mystery? She's just finally connected to the tower, so she is now capable of crafting a world. Interesting. So she no longer can craft songs. Well, just songs, I should say. Yes, this is more of a playable world. It has nothing to do with the actual cosmosphere, since we're, well, we're already at level 9 and we did everything we could in, that, in those 9 levels. Yeah, that sounds interesting. Uh oh. Some challenges are for us to clear. And we do so co complete those challenges, we'll get some mystery as a song of magic. Well, not quite. Yeah, yeah, mystery just just like with question mark, dude. He's I'm gonna assume it he or she. It, well, you know what? Mystery sounds like a girl, so I'll say she. She sounds like a um. She's she governs Misha's mysterious side. That's what I'm trying to say. All right, opening gate. Do it. All right. And I don't know why we had to spend another 300 DP. I'm guessing the game, game of those, like, you know what you made this far? You got a lot of DP to burn. Sure, why not? Alright. And we have made it to the visual world. When I change the levels, so it's a lot different. If that makes sense. Anyway, what I meant to say was it has changed. Even if it was a little, good lord mighty. Anyway, welcome to her level E atmosphere. Now, just like with Ortica's level E, um, this is going to be a fan service like world for for those who played the Atelier series. And I believe this is a sequel to Atelier Marie, which is Ellie. So, the Atelier Ellie. Again, that's an Atelier game I've never played. The 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 the, the first Atelier game I've ever played. I want to say ever, I mean ever played, and Misha, why are you a child? Oh god, don't go back to your being a child and saying you don't want to grow up. I thought we got past this phase already. <laughs> yeah, why are you dressed like that? Call her Ellie, rather than Elphier. Elphier sounds kind of cool, I'm not going to lie. Wait, trying to make a meteor? What? <laughs> a bomb? To meet someone she admires. I'm sure it will help you out. I mean, we've been helping you out throughout all nine levels. Why stop now? There's a friend named Izel at the Academy. <laughs> well, you did say you want to help her. Okay, so we need to go to the Academy and meet with Izel. But, yeah, like I was saying before, uh, I've never... The first Tell game I ever played was Tell Verona. So, yeah. And then it went down to tell your Tota Raid and tell your Mido Do, then tell your Aisha, tell your Eskenlaji, then tell your Shali. I played the Japanese version of it. The English version of that game isn't going to be out till the next month, which is, yeah, because it is February 8th. And it's going to come out on the 14th of March. So, yeah. Aisha. Let's see, it's Aizen. Now, honestly, I found myself really interested in the Atelier, Atelier series. I, I remember when I first got the Atelier game, which was Atelier Rona, not the remake. It was way before, like, I think I got it, like, when Atelier Totori came out. Well, it was about to come out. And, um... No. Wait, what I'm trying to say. Yeah, when Atelier Totori was already out. And, um... Honestly, when I played Tsurorona, that was like my first game that ever had a time limit. 
and to me, I felt that was really stupid, and honestly, I really couldn't enjoy it, because I wanted to do so much, like, wanted to grind, wanted to make good items, I wanted to, you know, do events and all that, but you couldn't, because you're so constrained, because in, in, in that game, every three months, you gotta, you gotta do an assignment, and you gotta present the assignment, no matter what, at the end of the three months, and go on with your grade, and I always try to get all ten stars. Yeah, it was very time constraining, and honestly, I just said screw it, and I just just sold it, and I sold it, and I got. I remember what game I got it for. I got some Goku Persona three instead, and I like that. And then I saw Tell Your Totary, and um, and honestly, I saw how much it improved over Tell Your Verona in terms of how the character models, because it was very chibi like in the original Tell Your Verona. And honestly, I saw it art style, I was like, whoa, this is actually pretty good. So I got to tell you, Verona, I actually endured it. And actually, I found that I actually enjoyed it once you get to get accustomed to the, to the time limit. <clears throat> and that was pretty fun. And then I got to tell you, Totori, enjoyed it. And that was my, my first game I ever platinum on the PS3. Then made a do. Then, well, you know, story. Okay, I wasn't really paying attention to what they were saying. And I tried to slow down the text. Sorry about that. <laughs> Oh Lord, um, I think she said we needed to like talk to somebody to to, to hire somebody or have some you know hire somebody to help us find a star piece in case of monsters and crap. Um, now depending on which which side you choose, a certain character from the uh, Tell Your Ellie World is gonna join you. I think a knight here joins you. I haven't really then did, did this one before, so let's go to the bar. I think his name is Sigurd or something like that. He's supposed to be like Sturk, I guess. I don't know. I'm sure. Uh, crowded liner. Place is freaking empty. And hey, boo. Ah, bodyguard. So then ruin. You know, this is reminding me, this whole atmosphere in our style is reminding me to play the other Fire Emblems. Yeah, I need to try to play those too. Okay, um, so we're now going to be going for the Star Piece. Thank God. And we're here at the Eastern Plateau. Hope we, hope we won't to run into any monsters. If not, I'll just kill them. Wait, that makes me wonder, why did she even ask for a bodyguard? I mean, I am a swordsman after all. Yeah, so we need to look for a star piece. Indeed. Alright. Ah, PS2 music. Yeah, I love it. I'm pretty sure I'll tell you Ellie came out on PS2. I gotta look back. Yeah, it seems like everyone likes Ellie. Oh, she's acting Sundary. <laughs> she, she's like, you know what? I do like her. I do like her, but not like that. God. And you see, she's smiling. <laughs> oh, Sundary. Good lord. That archetype is going to never get old to me. Especially Hyper Dimension of Tulia. I'm making so many game references, aren't I? Alright, thank you. Did it for Ellen. Indeed. Thanks, guys. So, yeah, yeah, that's a good reason why everyone marries Ellie. She tries to work hard. Uh, <laughs> Com comprehension. See, I'm feeling that too. She works hard. Everyone likes a hard worker. Yeah, you're missing the Stuna Sod piece. Oh, now you remember it.
Indeed. Alright, do you think... Er, uh, Ellie, I'll call you Nisha there. You look like her, but you're not her. And even though your name tag says it too. Across the ocean. Ocean? Cantonis. Huh, a dragon in the sea? Interesting. Ah, so, so she wanted to make the meteor spell to beat the dragon so she can meet the person he admires on the other side. On the other side. <laughs> Alright, we'll help you out. Misha, not Misha. Ellie, good lord. I gotta hurt Princess Cosmosphere before I start calling her Misha all the time. They have herring, snapper, mackerel, yellowtail, and shark. Liner. Oh, well, actually, this does make sense because, well, 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 where Liner lives, he lives in a tower, and the Sea of Death pretty much covered the entirety of RCL, so you haven't really seen an ocean before. <laughs> Terrible flood. Yeah, that's the ocean, Liner. But again, from his point of view, it's understandable. He never seen an ocean before. I think the only person probably seen the ocean is Shirelia, but I'll get into that in the main story later. Eureka. I wonder if she's a playable character in Teller Ellie. Because in the Atelier series do have combat, even though it's mainly about alchemy. God, you need to know no alchemy in order to survive when you're getting more better materials. Do do, do do alchemy. She's a fisherman. <laughs> with the very reckless girl. Alright. Oh, Marlone! Interesting. I wasn't really paying attention to that, so she wanted to meet Marlone. Is it going to be the original one or <laughs> the Orca one? No, it can't be the Orca one. I mean, that's her level. Oh, so, so like, I wasn't paying attention anyway. He used to say one shot. He had a fever. Huh. You know, that sounds very similar to Atelier like Arona. Very similar. With Astrid, that pedophile I don't like. Him. Wait, wasn't Marlon a girl? Pretty sure Marlon's a girl. Oh, whatever. We'll see when we get there. Alright, and we get an enemy cutscene, which is not that often in this game. I don't know if this is from Tiller Ellie or not, I don't know. No oh god! What the hell is that? The dragon? The whole of this meteor works. Or destroy it with your meteor shower. <laughs> you saw a pair just. a pair just come down and actually defeated it <laughs> yeah that's very anticlimactic <laughs> oh lord yeah what the hell is this oh lord that scene gets me all the time anyway, we arrive at Kentonis 
Or I go to the Academy of Alchemists. Hopefully we'll find Lodgy. No, no we won't. I don't think he was born in this timeline. Yeah, don't expect too much. Um, LTR. I almost called you Misha again. And hey, there's Orca. Er, Malone. Wait, what? Wait. Uh oh. What's going on? Why are we really? Why is she really in this special moment? Yep. Yeah. Yep. And, and, now the girls are are not playing a role anymore. He's now Orga and Misha now. <laughs> and Misha's crying. She's like, I see you all the time, Orga. Seriously. Oh god. Uh oh. Well we knew, knew this was gonna happen sooner or later. Um <laughs> and I was like, uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, come on. He'll be fighting over me. There's enough liner to go around. Uh oh. Uh, a Mega Flame. Oh, God. I remember those bombs. They do some mega damage. Oh, God. Great. They freaking destroyed the building. Oh, God. Uh, I'm pretty sure they're tugging on the liner. Well, <laughs> Richard sure took a landed, and they're like, "No, he's coming with me. No, he's coming with me. Let's just go. I'll take both of you girls. Come on." All right. Well, that was kind of that was pretty fun. I'm not going to lie. <sighs> well, would that be a complete little e atmosphere? Thank Christ. And we have a new outfit for Misha, which is the Elthier. Now, but bet you're wondering, wait, it's her kid outfit. She can't go back to it being a kid. Well, you're half right. But I'll get into that in the story later. Okay, and we have crafted the Meteor Ray Magic. And Misha's still wearing this outfit. It's a gift to her, just like with the Orca of Mar Marloon. And Misha has returned back to her adult self with the white kimono. <laughs> yeah, same airliner. And get mystery as a song magic, so we get one more gift. Oh, oh, this is the very, very, very end. Yep, same here, Misha. And we get the Miracle Blue Magic. Kind of funny, I would have thought it'd be called Mystery. Well, whatever. So, we have finished all of Misha's Cosmospheres. So, you know, like I said, this is her last episode. Though, yay or not yay, depending on how you want to look at it. So, the, the, the only thing we can do, just like, just like with Orcas, we can just go to the song store and just use our remaining DP just to um, increase the usage of our songs. So, that's everything. So, guys, this is the end of... I'm saying that a lot, I so, so, guys, I'm glad you guys enjoyed... We just got Mr. Just like with Orcas. So, next time, uh, we will be advancing the plot of the game. So, then, guys, see you guys next time.